So now we have our character rigged in layout using the Genoma 2 Unity preset rig and we can take a look at the controls we can use to animate it. This is a pretty simplified biped rig, totally compatible with the mechanism system you can find in Unity. So once this character is imported into Unity, you can apply any motion capture file that Unity makes available. Of course you can also choose to animate the character by hand and create your own motion clips that you can import in Unity. So let's take a look at this character's controls. It is important to notice how this preset is just a starting point that any user can customize and improve. All the controls are pretty straightforward. We have a master we can use to move the whole rig and character uh, in the scene and we have uh, the bottom legs and arms set to FK. Of course according to the kind of animation you're going to produce you may want to change the FK IK state of the arms and, and the legs. If you're animating a walk cycle for example you may probably want uh, the arm set to FK and the legs to IK. If we try to move the root of the character now, you can see that everything is moving with it. We can activate IK for the legs, for both legs, simply selecting the two pole vectors and in rotate mode. Now we can see we have some bank limits here and only the bank axis active. Now as we rotate the bank, I'm using the right mouse button to do that, you can see that there is first a blending, an IK-FK blending and then a totally IK switch. And if we select and move the root now, of course the feet are staying in place. With IK on we can animate the leg using this control here. It can be translated and rotated and even this one. Uh, we can also select this one and rotate it. But we can't do the same with the other bones of, of the leg as you can see. It's not nothing is moving if I move the mouse. Since the arm is an FK at the moment we can select any bone and rotate it, rotate it around like this, the hand, fingers and any time we can use the IK FK switch so now, as you can see, the arm is controlled by this control here. You can rotate it and move it and so on. The same control we're using uh, as an IKFK switch is also our pole vector. So we can translate it to change the orientation of the arm and the same applies to the pole vectors for the legs. Even the, the other controls are really simple. Again we have the root, we have this first spine control, then the control for the chest and the neck and the head. In the next video we'll see how to export the rig to Unity and apply some animation and we'll also explore some of the problematics related to deformations and weight maps in the Lightwave to Unity interchange. Thanks for watching.